Good day and welcome back. Today we are starting part two of our walkthrough of the Outer Worlds. So today we're going to uh, push forward the main quest and do a little work on the side quest as well to see if it gives us a little bit more information about the town. So if we go into the journal here, uh, we can look at the journal and we can see, okay, our main quest, we've got to find a power regulator and we got to collect grave fees. So uh, I think if we collect the gravesite fees, we should get a little bit of um, a tour of the town as we're, uh, as we're talking to people and looking at different locations. Let's make that one active and see kind of uh, who we could talk to. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Oh, sweet merciful law! A marauder's in my domicile! Dude, I'm not a marauder. The reason you're running around outfitted like one of those monsters? Did Mr. Thompson send you to put the fear in me? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Take it easy, dude. Thompson didn't send me. And what are you doing here? Visiting? Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here's my domicile, and there's the door. Dude, I'm here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Knows what? I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching, and soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Well, I'm sure it's tragic and all, but pay me. Uh. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Yeah, another side quest. Well, we'll see. It depends. Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Yeah, uh, all right. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, law, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. So what should I know about this place, you know? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. Those dirty bums. All right, we'll see you later then. Okay. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Who are you? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Well, let's see. What do you need it for? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Okay, what do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. I think you should tell me. Alright. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town. And we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape. So I'm reaching out to you. The dude's gonna pay me, though. I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. Ah, uh, we'll see. That's all I can ask of you. Alright. Well, let's see who else we can talk to here. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. I know how you feel. So we got a couple people in here. 
Where are these? Somebody, oh, somebody in the barber shop. That's right, he mentioned that. Yep. All right, dude, hand it over. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Uh, take it easy, dude. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Well, Silas sent me to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. That means you don't have any money, dude. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Well, let's see. Push him. Edgewater is built on the discipline and sacrifice of its people. Say what you will about our town, but we all pull together. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Well, how about giving him Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Let's see how we can help you out. Uh, I'll let you know. Much obliged. Well, everybody keeps freaking out about my outfit. So let's actually unequip this stuff for now. Put this on. And we'll see how people react to me now. Why is he still part of the thing? What can I do for you? Oh, I see. So he's a guy we can keep dealing with. Uh, so we talked to him about a this. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. I don't think so. See you later. So, I think there's somebody out there. But there should be. So all of our fees things are done for inside here. So let's make this one active. Talk to our people here. I think I'm looking for the big boss of the town.
The grease monkey, Argo? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I must be the town boss. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Yeah, I'm not a uniform guy. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. I should need your Only beers. regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But... I happen to know of another one, and I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Frying myself? Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant, reroute power from the botanical district, over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Mostly abandoned. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Well, yeah, I don't think the people like losing their power. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But, like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Now you're gonna give me some money, dude. Good law, no. I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. All right, I'll do that. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. All right. Looks like... All right. I got my wrenches, and diagnosticators, and hairpins, and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. All right, let's go. Companions. All right, it's getting more and more Fallout-like. I guess it's, it's uh, you know, part of the creators of Fallout, and we're getting some of the similar things. So we get combat support. Uh, their skills enhanced my skills. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, increased carrying capacity. Yeah, we had that before. And we can unlock special combat abilities. All right. It looks like it'll be very useful. Okay. Since some people require competing a quest before other ones will join us. So now we've got some side quests. They're actually, this is kind of nice actually, uh, they're marked specifically as side quests so we know really what's part of the main story and not easily. Deliver his message and divert the power. Okay. So 
So, we'll go deliver that message. You coming with me, companion? Bravati? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Can we talk? I guess so. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. So, yeah, what about it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Do you know these deserters? I don't know anybody well. I mostly listen to them talk, get my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. So what's going on with these guys? Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Oh, where is the vicar? The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. All right, stop by. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Okay. So we're going to... We're still gonna deliver his message to Adelaide. And we'll, we'll see the vicar around. We'll stop by. Is this a church here? Oh, I guess in here. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. Well, where are you, what vicar, have you dude? Got to Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto, at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Oh, Provide, you want to talk to you? Outsider. Yeah, Provide, you wanted me to talk to you. What? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Uh, cut off the power. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. So what do you think of them, dude? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Uh, 
Oh, so I see there's some dialogue that isn't unlocked, uh, can't use for intelligence or whatever skills are not high enough. So what do you advise then? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. All right, I'll keep that in mind. If it were as easy as a few soothing words in the right ears, I'm sure it would have been done already. Consider it a challenge. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. I bet. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. All right, well... Why do you need it? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Well, sure thing. Glad we see eye to eye. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? All right, I'll look for this. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Well, another task. I don't know how much we'll do of this uh, on screen here. I don't think you'll want to see me running around doing a whole pile of tasks. But uh, let's move the let's move the main quest on a little further. All right, right at the docks. It wasn't uh, one of them. Maybe we can knock off one of these guys that we need to talk to out here. Or landing pad. Is one of these guys out here? I don't see any markings for him. Oh, well, maybe, yeah. Yeah, there's Ludwig. So I'll talk to this guy and then move our main quest along. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. Right, Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. Nope, here for money. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. I need your money. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. The war. The coming apocalypse. Man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. I don't know what you're talking about. Just my luck. I ask for backup and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Well, we'll see. Go on. Hmm. 
You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculus. I haven't. I just Pray woke up. To the law that you never do. A mechanical never forgets the face of its enemy. First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. Well, I hope you I've are. been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spaces chaw, a few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Die, robot, die. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. All right. We'll do that at some point. Well, let's push ahead our main mission here. Oh, we need to find Adelaide. Where are you, Adelaide? So we're outside. We are looking for Adelaide. We oh, should probably get some armor on, actually. A shotgun. Yes, die. Oh, you're gonna die. Let's get 
some headshots on you, dude. We had a barrel here we could have blown up, I guess. Where are you guys hiding? Sweet, level up. Cover here. guys got for me. That worked out better this time. Community center. Well, we'll go there later. Alright, since we're here, let's move our skill points up here. We got 10 available. Uh, 
Yeah, let's keep going. Dead dogs. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Who are you? I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'll look for Adelaide. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Yeah, we're looking for the geothermal plant. A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. That was my You're plan. Gonna start wandering around my camp. Know that I got my sights on you. So where can I find her then? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Yep, you and me both. Well, look at you, buzzing around the aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. Well, I'll keep an eye out for her. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Side quest. Could do without the gallows humor. I'll tell you what I can. Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. Oh, here the rotters got her. Could be. Dangers are plenty out there. No telling why marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skills, far as I could tell. Well, give me a better idea where she Marauder is. Marauder gang just moved into the districts a little ways east. Their numbers are growing. Gotta come from somewhere. All right. What is it? Adelaide's probably in here. There she is. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must be Adley. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon. 
but it's been cleaned. Well, let's get to the point here. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Let's go a little softer here. Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Well, oh. Reed asked me to turn off your power. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Well, I need it for a ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. So, we got a decision tree here, I think. But each side seems to think they're right. Well, if it's all the same to you, then you ought to divert power over to us, shut down Reed's cannery, and scrap it for parts. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Yeah, let's say I hope you what goes on with Edgewater then. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. Well, think about it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. So, I think we've got a decision here. Divert power away from the town. Or to the town. We got any other stuff we can loot in here? Oh. Alright.
Looks like we're going to make our way over the geothermal area. fight these beasties eventually. Canids. Robots here. And here's a geothermal plant. So we're gonna figure out how to get in through that gate. There's some movement over there. That's one of these robots. I think. Oh yeah, these are baddies. Here we go! Take these guys out melee. Adjacent auto. That's actually fairly effective. All right, that it. Let's loot these guys. So I guess we don't have to turn that off, we can get in through here.
gives me a bit of ammo. I keep an eye on these barrels. That could have helped. Let's see if there's more of these guys in here. Get in here. The control room should be ahead somewhere and a touch to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna make a decision. I don't know if I like this uh, read guy. Processing Ooh. beginning security. Here they come! Go! Go! I get more of these mag lock things to open these doors. Okay, let's check out the plant status. Now we need to redirect power. Okay, so we gotta find the switches here. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. Well, we'll see. Robots.
Yeah, we got a lot of personal logs. Okay, messing around with the robots. Companies making the robots all the security guards. Oh, the robots went crazy. Okay, let's unlock the door. We got the passcode actually. There we go. Okay. in here. We need to work our way through there. Let's just see. Name the light. So we can sneak up on these dudes. to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the Vale? We gotta decide. Get away! Yep, 
before we get to battle again, let's uh work on our skill points here. You're not real! You're not real! You're liable to get scalded. Okay, great. too bad when you melee them. Switch number two. If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the world? Energy cells. I wonder if uh, that'll fuel some energy weapons later on. All right. Where to next? Over here. One switch room. Already, I think we're going backwards here. Going up, I think. The last, I'm not sure what the ride is. All I know is the decision's final. True. That's no true. Hey, mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but 
I just gotta ask you, do you understand what you're about to do? Uh, I know, but uh, we'll I see. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Yeah. What about the deserters, though? Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow, she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Yeah, yeah. And then Reed says it's their well, sure sounds it. like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. You're really pushing for Edgewater. I felt like I had to say something. All right. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. So, we're going to make a decision now. Redirect power, it's irreversible. So make an enemy out of Edgewater. Or out of Adelaide. Well, let's redirect power to Edgewater. See how it goes. Okay, so it looks like the people, Adelaide's people are going to kill us on sight for a while though. And we've redirected power. Well, let's leave the plant. Where's the front door? Do we have vending machines we can use? Vending machines, okay. Yeah, we don't really need to buy any stuff right now. Oh, to keep that in mind. All right, so we made it to the plant, geothermal plant. We redirected the power, making a big decision. So our fortunes in the game are going to move according to what we've done here. We will continue on with our main quest tomorrow in the next video. Thanks for watching. And if you like that, make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of these The Outer Worlds videos. We'll see you in the next video.